In this video, we're going to evaluate this definite integral. So before we do that, we want to write everything as u to a power. You'll notice we have two terms up top and one term on the bottom. So whenever you have that, you want to break it up. So we're gonna break it up as follows. So we have the definite integral from one to four. So it's this over this, so u over, and I'm gonna go ahead and write the square root of u as u to the one half. It'll just make it easier to simplify. So it's u over this minus, and then this over this. So it'll be six over u to the one half. And then we have our du here. Okay, now we can simplify this. So we still have the definite integral. So what you do here is you subtract the exponents. You have u to the first power, and then here you have u to the one half. So you do one minus one half, so you get one half. So this is u to the one half minus, and then six. Then you can take this and you can bring it up. And when you bring it up, the exponent becomes negative. So this is u to the negative one half, and then we have our du. So again, whenever you have like two or three or more terms up top and a single term on the bottom, that should automatically come to mind. Can you break it up using this strategy? So it's super, super useful. Okay, so now we're just going to integrate. So when you integrate both of these pieces, you just use the power rule. So you add one to the exponent and divide by the result. So we have one half plus one. So it's really one half plus two halves. So that's, that's three halves. So this is u to the three halves. And when you divide by three halves, you really multiply by the reciprocal. So instead of dividing by three halves, I'm gonna put a two thirds here because that's the reciprocal. Uh, okay, the same thing here. So now this one, it's minus, I'm gonna leave some room here, six. Notice I'm leaving some room here for, the, for whatever's gonna go here. So we're adding one to this. So negative one half plus one is one half. So this is u to the one half. And then again, dividing by one half means we multiply by two. So times two. Okay, and then you have three choices here. You can put a line, you can put a bracket, or you can go all out and do two brackets. It just depends what you're comfortable with. So line, bracket, or two brackets. And we're going from one to four, so then you put these numbers here. These are called the limits of integration. All right, let's, um, I'm gonna go ahead and, and clean this up a little bit. So I'm gonna write this again. This is 2 thirds u to the 3 halves minus 12 u to the 1 half. And then we have our limits, let me just write it again, uh, 1 to 4. All right, so first you always plug in the top number. So it's always the top number first. You subtract, then you plug in the bottom number. So plugging in the top number first, we get 2 thirds, 2 thirds, 4 to the 3 halves, Okay, minus 12, four to the one half. So all I've done so far is simply put a four wherever there is a u, let's check that. So two thirds, four to three halves, check, minus 12, and then four to the one half, check. Minus, and now we have to plug in the ones. That's gonna be a little bit easier, because whenever you put a one where the u is, it's just gonna become one, right? Because one to the three halves is one, u to the one half is one. So I'm just gonna get two thirds minus 12. So 2 thirds minus 12, yuck. Typically you get fractions in these problems, um, so that's probably the most annoying part about these problems is, is the fractions. Okay, so I don't have a calculator in my hands, so I have to do it all by hand. So four to the three halves. So here's the old school way, or here's how I do it. I don't know if it's the old school way, maybe it's new school. So the two goes in the little pocket always, every time you put the two in the pocket, the four goes here, and you can put the three on the outside. Or you can put it on the inside too, but it's better to put it on the outside. Two goes in the pocket, always. Two goes in the pocket, two goes in the pocket, two goes in the pocket, put the four there. The three, you can put it on the outside or the inside. Square root of four is two, so you get two cubed, so you get eight, boom. So that's two thirds times eight. Two thirds times eight, that's beautiful. Minus, oh, square root of four is two, that's easy, right? So 12 times two, that one's not so bad. Here, my, minus two thirds uh, minus 12. I'm just gonna distribute it. So it'll be minus two thirds plus 12. Let's just put it all together before we start adding fractions. Let's see what, what arises from all of this. So here we have 16 thirds, 16 thirds minus 24, minus two thirds plus 12, right? So just all I did there was multiply the two 
and the 8. And let's see, 16 thirds minus 2 thirds is 14 thirds. That's combining this one and this one. Negative 24 plus 12 is minus 12. To finish this uh, computation, we want to write 12 as a number over 3. So we can multiply it by 3 over 3. So this is 14 thirds minus 36 thirds. 14 minus 36 is negative 22 thirds. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, because 36 minus 14 is, is 22. And so that should be the final answer. I hope this video has been helpful to anyone who is working on some calculus. Take care.